And by the way, if you watch this here, right, and you just find this remotely interesting, you haven't watched Avatar yet, do it. Watch The Last Airbender first and then The Legend of Korra. Watch both, please. Not right now. Well, finish watching my video first. <laughs> but after that, just start watching the series. Hey everyone, this is Athagos, and you can see a box here on the table. Uh, I will take everything out here um, and show you because the Avatar Legends role-playing game just arrived. I backed this on Kickstarter. I have watched both series of Avatar um, and I love them both um, for different reasons, but they're incredible. And when I saw that this was um, a role-playing thing, then I really ha I had to back it. It was a no-brainer. I couldn't go all in because it was really expensive, but I went all like half in pretty much, right? It was still pretty pricey, but there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So let me just first get everything out of the box and then we will take a look at all the stuff that is in here. All right, and there we go. Um, all right, so let's take a look at all of this. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, maybe we will take a look at the main stuff first and then at the extra stuff. I think that's a good idea. So that is, of course, the core rule book here. Um, that's something that we will take a look at first. And look how thick it is. There's a lot of stuff in here. It is really cool because you can actually play through all the eras, like Yoshi's era, Roku's, the 100 Year War era, Ang's era, and also Korra's era. So, that's oh, already opened here. Um, so we can play through all the eras. Um, and there's actually even a Four Nations cloth map in here. So you have a map of all the Four Nations, um, which is really cool. It's a really nice piece to just hand around the table, right? Um, I'm currently still playing an adventure at the moment, the one that I keep talking about that I wrote myself. But when that is done, I might play this. There are so many adventures I still need to play, but this is one of my favorites. This will be pretty hard to play, I think, because you will need quite a bit of knowledge here for this universe, but uh, especially uh, um, for me as the GM. But let's see. I actually would really like to play in this world, but I will probably have to be the GM again as usual. All right, so, well, take a look at the artwork first. This looks amazing. This looks really great. So you see Ang here and Korra. This is really great artwork. This is amazing. And then here, chapter one, welcome to the game. The world of Avatar, fundamentals of play, making characters core moves. The play, the 10 core playbooks. Interesting, oh, that's probably the different um, characters you can play advancement so it's really cool because bending and everything you can like you can use bending and everything so you can make like really interesting characters here i think this is just amazing i don't know how how difficult this is to play because with bending you can do pretty much everything right so ah it's kind of hard to balance but they will have enough rules in here i hope chapter 7 advancement then running the game seasons and campaigns Okay, so you can actually like, have a campaign that is made up of seasons. That is great because then between like between seasons you can change a few things. That's great. Um, that's also something that um, the other thing is doing. How's it called? Ah, I can't think of it right now. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I remember soon. Um, uh, Blades in the Dark. That's it. Uh, Blades in the Dark is also doing that with seasons, kind of kind of seasons. And then running adventures, adventure tools. That's important for me, especially GM advice. Great. Um, and then we have the techniques. Do you see here like water bending, earth, fire, air bending, weapons and technology. And then we have the NPCs. Only five. Well, that's probably the most important NPCs. Cool. All right. We will not be able to take a look at everything. I want to take a look at 277 for sure. Um, but let's just take a quick Oh, this looks so great. I can't wait <laughs> to dig into this. I know what I will be reading um, the next few weeks. All right, Avatar Legends, what is an RPG? Well, we know that. Then here we have the different kingdoms, cool. And the different bending techniques or trainings in general, like uh, water, earth, fire, air bending, of course, but then also weapons and technology. The world of Avatar, oh, this is made, this is wonderful. This is just great. I love this world, and this way, oh, they actually say uh, say a lot here. So this actually might hopefully be enough to actually um, remember everything again. The water tribes, yeah, that I will have to remember all of this stuff here. That is very very important, very cool. Oh yeah, Wanchi Tong, 
I remember them. Really cool. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. The Air Nomad tattoos. Okay, very cool. So let's just uh, look here. There's a, oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Very, very cool. Okay, nice. And like all the artwork and stuff. That is, this looks amazing. Wow. There's so much stuff in here. There's like all the all the sages, the false avatar, the um, pony war, Mark and Y, and the okay, notable figures. Oh, okay, I see notable figures of the different kingdoms. There's so much stuff here. That is amazing. Sorry, I'm kind of, I'm just wow. I'm just amazed. That's why I'm keeps I'm keeping so quiet. Ah, uh, that's the um, the um, the the NPCs here. All right, because of course you can't play as Ang or as Korra, right? But you can play like characters in that universe, and depending on which era you play in, right? So um, it should say here, no, it doesn't say when uh, which era these belong to. But I mean that's the Kyoshi era, so we know that. Okay, cool. And then I wanted to look, take a look at two seventy seven. I think it was right here, GM device. Fights at Ba Sing Se. Okay. Oh, that's not too much. And then we have over here, we have secrets, different errors, and one shot adventuring. Oh, okay. There you can actually do a one shot adventure. Nice. Because I think there's nothing in this book here, but I do have a second book that came with this. And I think there you should have, there should be some ideas for adventures. But this looks amazing. I think this was a stretch goal, but this is also amazing. Look at this. There are actually like two. Oh, you can see it here. There are actually two of these um, of these bookmarks here. Let me just open this up here, and you see that like two bookmarks. That is really nice. That's definitely not enough for a GM, right? I probably would need like ten bookmarks, but it is a nice start. Like you can like put like where you actually are right now, and maybe something else that you need to look up often, right? And then I will have my little magnets that I use and can put them in the pages here. I have like these small magnets, and let me let me show you actually. One thing you might not know about me is that I love literature. Um, I also love reading. I haven't, uh, I've not been reading too much the past few years because I don't have that much time, but I actually love reading and I also love Jane Austen. And what I have here is, you see, I have like these really cool like bookmark magnets here um, that I'm actually using for my adventures, right? So I can just like put in the most important, um, uh, for the most important, um, um, pages here, I can just put in these little bookmarks here. And these are really cool. I have even one more set. Um, and this is probably also what I will use for that here. So, yeah, I um, just wanted to show that to you. Ah, I think the other set is in here. Yeah, there's the other set um, waiting for me to open it up when I need it. So I might use those, but it's cool that there are already two in here. Okay, let me just put that aside. Okay, so let's continue. Let's get going. So, and then here we have, actually, yeah, it's hardcover, but it's not hard, hardcover. Actually, it feels nice. It feels really great. Wonderful. And then let's take a look at this here, because that is the second book. Uh, this one I actually need to open myself. All right, let me just quickly do that back here with my knife. Careful, we don't want to break anything. Look at this cover. This is Wan Chi Tong's Adventure Guide. Um, to be honest, it, ha it has been a little while since I backed this. And I usually, before unboxings, I usually don't check the Kickstarter page again because I actually want to be surprised, right? Sometimes uh, there is, are actually surprises in there, which wouldn't be surprises if I actually took a look at the page again, right? Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure what this Adventure Guide is, but I think it was like a start starting point for actually running the game like um like which stories you could you should which stories you could use um and things like that i hope i'm not too loud with the wrapping here okay there we go so there we go we got it so oh this looks amazing it looks amazing the artwork and everything so let's take a look anyway so yeah it's like all it's all like completely messed up here but let's just take a look quickly what that is. I'll let you peruse my vast collection on one condition. Uh, I, I really love that part in the series. The library, NPC legends, playbooks, earth and root. Oh, these are different adventures here. 
So um, it just uh, talks about playbooks and the NPCs. And then we have actually like one, two, three, four, five adventures the way it looks like. That's pretty nice. Ah, and they, are, they all have to do with the library, I suppose. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that means they will probably release more books with more adventures and stuff, which is great. Um, which is really great. So yeah, here are some pre-gen characters even. Oh, there are pre-gen characters. That is wonderful. That is great. Wonderful. Nice. Really, really nice. And I will just go through it quite quickly because I don't want my future players to see too much, right? <laughs> they should not be, um, there should not be any spoilers for them, but oh, oh, tough. She is amazing. Oh, I loved her. I'm not gonna say too much about it. If you, by the way, if you watch this here, right? And you just find this remotely interesting, you haven't watched Avatar yet, do it. Watch The Last Airbender first and then The Legend of Korra. Watch both, please. Don't listen to people who say that The Legend of Korra is horrible and it's really bad. Both series have their plays. I like both of them. Go and watch them. Not right now. Well, finish watching my video first. <laughs> but after that, just start watching the series. I think they should be both on Netflix, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not quite, I don't quite remember where I watched them, but I think so. And I might rewatch them quite soon just to prepare a little bit for um, running this maybe, yeah, maybe this year, maybe next year. But um, I th might actually rewatch the series. And you do the same if you haven't watched them yet. And if you have watched them, but it hasn't been in a while, um, do it anyway. These are great. Uh, I just love them. Okay, so, and let me just open up these. These are like the journals. Um, I think the journals for the players, right? I think. And that is a little issue because I only have one of each. And uh, where did I open it now? You know, I just opened the book and I have no idea where. I, I sometimes I'm amazed by my own stupidity. Oh, there we go. There it is. So, um, there we go. So, um, I think these are journals that the players can use, but that is an issue because I only have one of each. And, ah, uh, you know, if they are used, then they can't be used again. So I don't know if I will actually hand those out. Yeah, these are journals, as you can see here. These are journals. I think this is for the GM here. And these are for the different players, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but these are just blank journals here, which is great. These look amazing. But, you know, if I use them, then they're gone. I might actually use them for myself. Maybe, you know, like have like one group, the first group here and the second, third, fourth group and the fifth group or whatever, right? I might use them for myself, but if I hand them out, I mean, they look great, but I would have to get more of those. I don't know. It would be great to get even to get more of those um, uh, to keep handing them out because I definitely want to play this like several times, right? Probably. Okay. And then here we have a bag. Was that for the dice? I'm not quite sure what this bag was for, to be honest, but it looks really great. You can see the elements here, right? Um, so um, fire, air, water, and earth. And it has like this little thingy here where you can like just um, pull this together. That looks really great. Like it looks black, but actually it's like, it's like a dark blue, um, but it kind of looks black in the camera here but really cool bag. And you can actually see like the stitchings and the elements in here. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest because we have this cloth map here. Um, let's just get this out. Oh, and there even is a little marker. Oh, that is amazing. I don't actually know if that was set in the campaign, but that is really cool. Um, let's take a look at the cloth map first and oh, this is really thick. Oh, this is great. I thought this was like, like, a, like a thin wobbly map, but no, it's not. Look at this. Oh, this looks amazing. And it's like really thick and wow, this is good. This is nice. This looks really nice. So here are the four four nations here so really nice 
this is amazing and then we have that token here oh by the way now remember i think there were even adventure booklets and i guess i did not back those oh that is bad i would have liked to have those i don't know um maybe i can still get some oh this is amazing oh wow this is this is plastic but i mean it looks nice but it's actually like etched in here can you see in the camera maybe a little bit so it's not as flat right wow this is actually textured and this feels great so you can just mark wherever the group is currently if they don't split up my current group loves splitting up so i don't know that's probably going to be the same group or some of them at least that i will play this with maybe i don't know so well i only have one marker so don't split up all right so really great this is amazing and this is yeah the dice bag right so we looked at all of this so we have two more things to look at we have the combat action deck and the dice let's take a look at the action deck first we can actually just open it like this that is wonderful thank you they have like people like me in mind who are too stupid to open that during an unboxing um come on oh nah, this is not working the way i would like to there we go okay requires rpg to play yes of course so let's see mm, come on and let's see if i can open this there we go okay oops uh okay so i don't quite know what these do because well i don't know how the rpg works yet right um so let's see the quality of the cards is yeah it's just standard but they are glossy they are um they do have like a not a linen finish but they have like a glossy almost plasticky finish okay oh yeah these feel interesting so status prepared ah uh, these are okay so you can like you, they can be afflicted with the status the players i guess and then they just get these cards so they know the status they have and also what it's what it um what it does empowered favored and then here we have oops something npc uh, evade and observe npcs clear one fatigue test balance okay choose one and balance rating techniques ah these are all the same here defend and maneuver advance and attack okay and then we have evade and observe oh great really cool artwork advance and attack yeah nice very very cool that's really great nice very nice deck it's yeah they kind of stick together because of that plastic coating or whatever that is but um yeah that makes them probably a little bit more durable which is not too bad ah, come on there we go and then we also have these dice and that's the last thing we will take a look at so let me just open up this here come on just carefully there we go that should hopefully be enough there we go let's take a look at the dice um like the dice i really wanted to back i think i might have gotten them as an add-on i'm not quite sure um because dice are always a great thing to have and just look at them right i mean they all have like this custom um they have like these custom faces and that is amazing so um i don't quite remember how many were in here but i think it is these 12 you can see right yeah that is all of them um there we go let me just open these up oh actually oh they only have one custom face but still they still look really cool i mean i could even use it for some printed plays if i wanted to right oops for some dice game so yeah so let me just get these out here so we can take a look at them oh these look really nice these look really cool they're like marbled here right in different colors and then they have these custom faces here for the different techniques that is really cool and they yeah they have a decent weight they feel pretty good actually um everything is etched in here again so it's not quite flat which is nice i always appreciate that so these look really nice okay cool 
and these fit in my huge oversized dice bag. Well, I didn't bag as many dice as I could have. As I said, it was quite pricey like. So yeah, um, these fit in here. So we can actually put them all in here and carry them around. Um, there is even still room <laughs> for the deck of cards because it's just so big. So I might even put the deck of cards in there. Um, really cool. Yeah, all right, so. That was my look at um, Avatar Legends, the role-playing game, and I can't wait to check this out. Um, yeah, I will just read up on that as soon as possible. Most likely I will already have read quite a bit um, before this video here releases. Really cool. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my look at this role-playing game. And before I end the video, I want to thank all of you for your support and especially my patrons who are generously supporting me on Patreon. Also a huge shout out to Sakno, who is currently my biggest supporter. Thank you so much for that. If you also would like to support me, why don't you head over to my Patreon. You will find the link in this video's description. And apart from that, thank you so much for watching in case you're still doing so. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you let me know by liking and or commenting. You can also subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future content. And if you would like to join my Discord server, that would be really cool. I'd love to welcome you over there. And there we can have like lots of discussions about pretty much anything gaming or RPG related. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.